This is our sixth annual Microbiz Matters Day and it's going to be the best yet. I really feel it. So you're all here to work. This is a day about recognition because we're all great because we're running our own businesses. It's hard. Uh, like Tina, I've been running my own businesses for something like 30 years. It's tough. It's all about ups and downs. But together, we can all keep each other going. And nobody is successful in the business on their own. It might only be a family member, but there are people that you need to connect with. Let's hope today you're able to connect with some new people, create some new partnerships on social media, and then after, together, network with people today, but help each other. Today is about just giving a little bit of time, isn't it, to help each other, because together we have the power of plenty. We all, we're all guilty of this. We defer, oh, I'll be happy on Friday when I get to go out with my friends. I'll be happy when I go on my holiday. I'll be happy when I retire. I'll be happy when, I'll be happy when I pay my mortgage off. I'll be happy when, I'll be happy when. You've got to be happy now. You've got to love what you do now. If something doesn't exist, then why not create it? So that's exactly what I did. I was making the product for myself. It was a personal need. And that's something that I always recommend to people. You know, if you're going to start a business, try and do something that you are the customer for. Make sure you invest in your business. Make sure you invest in yourselves through reading books and things, like I said, talks about. Invest in your company, get the best people you can possibly get on. And, and believe it can happen. Because the things that you believe come true. I think it's important to come together and to actually chat to other people and, and realise that you, you're not on your own. You just don't know who you're going to meet and what connections they're going to lead you on to. And even just sometimes, even if you don't, it doesn't always have to be business, 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 because I don't like it when people like push business down my throat. Um, I like it when there's a natural partnership, but just having a conversation with someone that's in the same arena as you or just has the same mindset. It was extremely important for me to be out networking and I took that, that was one of the, the nuggets, if you like, I took from my career was that networking is everything. Go and talk to some other people. Actually, don't start with the books. They all kind of fill in the technical question later. And actually, you don't know what you want to ask. So what's the point of reading up if you don't know what you need from it? You're going to waste your time. Go into the high street, go into local offices, just knock on the door. Business owners are far more generous with our, we're far more generous with our time. If someone just says, I'm not quite sure where to start, how did you start? Get those stories, okay, okay? build up that narrative, understand their journey and how that might be relevant for yours. What, what did they do that you'd be happy to do? but you wouldn't. And then you can hit the books, then you can do the podcast, because then you know what you're looking for to help you plug the gaps. Networking is really important. Hopefully a lot of people here today have learned a lot of stuff, and I'll have been able to tell them my mistakes, and they might go away and think about that and hopefully not make the same, or they might think about how their business works. Um, so I think it's the really important as a learning tool, particularly when you're working on your own or with one other person, you need to be able to share your ideas and share them with other people. Help each other and connect with new people and various things. So it's a, it's a fun day really. It's a day of real recognition, action and learning. Isn't it?